Naturally, I waited until it was kind of a hotter sunny day to install a soft start RV onto our AC unit. The reason we're doing this is I've got a fairly inexpensive 2000 watt Jenny, and that's 2000 peak power, that won't start the AC unit by itself. The AC unit needs about 2700 watts in order to get its stuff started. So technically, at 1600 watts, my little Jenny, quiet, small, and lightweight, should be able to run the AC. So that's what we're doing today. Now, step one, you gotta get on the roof. And as you can see, I've already taken off the cover. If you need to, you might want to find the model number if you don't have the manual for it, but there's an actual plate on the side here, and it will give you the model number, and then you can actually look that up to get the wiring diagram and the installation instructions on Soft Start. Barring that, take the wiring diagram that's actually on the inside of the plate that allows you access, and you can use that then to figure out which one of the installation instructions match up to Soft Start RV. And they are fairly simple. Now, my electrical training consists of putting AA batteries in the correct orientation inside of a television remote. So I'm gonna show you how easy this is to do here today. And um, Soft Start says it's only gonna take 60 minutes. <laughs> We're gonna find out if that's true or not. When you usually take this cover off, it might look a little bit intimidating, but most of the stuff in here is pretty basic. You'll recognize a fan, you'll recognize the motor. Uh, this is the compressor that runs the AC unit, and inside here you can see it does look a little intimidating with a massive mess of wires. The thing is, most of these don't concern us. So what we're looking for are the three wires that come off of the compressor. And usually, with a little bit of wiggling, you can figure out which three you're interested in. And in this case, it's a red, a white, and a black, and that's this three right here. All the rest, we can get out of the way, because we don't have to play with those. So now we've eliminated most of this wiring confusion. The instructions from Soft Start RV are actually pretty straightforward. You just follow them one at a time, and that's what we're gonna do today. Step one is gonna be to remove the putty that's around this pile of wires and stick our soft start RV wiring through this hole. Don't throw this out. Hang on to that putty because we're going to use that again to block up that hole once we get our wires through. So just to make it a little easier for us, I've taped some of the wires that uh, we are not going to use or be bothered with just to get them out of the way. Step one is we're going to follow the white compressor wire. Give it a little wiggle. Yeah, we got the right one. And follow it down to the run capacitor and disconnect it. And I loosened it up a little bit. It did take a little bit of a wiggling. And now that we have that white compressor wire, we're going to connect it to the blue wire from Soft Start. And again, I'm just reading from the instructions here. So let's see how we do. You will need a couple tools to get this job done. It's nothing fancy. We're going to use a set of crimpers, needle nose pliers just so we can cut the wires easily. And uh, you can never go wrong with having some black electrical tape along. So I've cut the uh, terminal off of there, and then we're going to connect the white and blue wire with the little piece of hardware that's supplied by Soft Start RV. Twist them together, put on the cap, use your crimpers to give it a little pinch right about there, and it's all set. Then just give them a tug, make sure it's secure, and it is. And uh, just because I'm paranoid, I'm going to put a little bit of black electrical tape around the bottom here too. Now step two is we're going to take the black wire from Soft Start, and we're going to connect it to where we just pulled the white wire off on the run capacitor. And again, the terminal is provided to you by Soft Start, so we're just going to put that on. And this is essentially how all of the terminal connections are going to go. Pretty straightforward. Wire goes into the connector, you grab your crimper, and crimp. And then give it a little tug to make sure that you did a good job. Now, you can and you actually should. Um, I have a, an RV toolkit and I've got always a few extra of these as well as the mail terminals and um, handy to keep along. This is actually out of my RV toolkit as well as is the electrical tape and the needle nose pliers. So good stuff to have with you in case you have to make any quick electrical repairs when you're on the road. So we're going to take this and connect it to where the white wire used to be. Step three is we're going to connect this yellow soft start wire onto the HERM terminal. You'll see that written down, H-E-R-M. And HERM is just short for hermetically sealed connection. 
um, and this is where our, our soft start gearbox was fell a little bit short but fortunately from our RV toolkit we've got an extra connector so we're going to crimp that onto the yellow wire and connect into the red and I'll give you a close up of that right below my finger in there now at the same time the next step we're going to skip ahead just by one instructions it says if you have if you have a second red wire on that run capacitor which we did pull it off and wrap it in tape and drop it which is what we're going to do and with that out of the way then we can connect our soft start yellow wire onto that terminal and so hopefully now you can see that we've got our red compressor wire in there and our own yellow soft start connected next to it now step five in the process is to find that black compressor wire and we're going to connect it to the brown soft start wire. Now in our diagram the black compressor wire goes to a relay that we can see. In this case uh, ours doesn't. The black goes to a purple wire. So we're going to cut both of those, connect the black and brown. And our final step is to connect the red wire to where the black compressor wire was. In this case the purple wire. Before we close everything up and mount the soft start unit inside the AC, let's fire up the generators and see if the soft start works. And of course the air conditioner. All right, what you're hearing right now is a single generator powered up into the RV. Now we have a dual generator setup, but I've disconnected one. The idea being that with the soft start connected, I should be able to start 13,500 BTU air conditioner running off of the single generator. And that's what we're about to find out. So here's our dual setup. And uh, keep in mind, I actually did test the AC and it ran on the dual system. So I know that the soft start is connected properly. So now it's just a question of, will it do it on one? There's our wires disconnected from the parallel inverter, so we're just running one. This little fella is quiet, because it's off. Alright, here we go. So that's the fan on. We know the generator is connected to the RV and it's running. Here's the big test. Holy! <laughs> yes! That is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner running off of one small inverter generator. Oh yeah, that feels good. That's amazing, just amazing. Well, with our successful test of the soft start, all we had to do now is actually put the box inside our AC unit, and this is where we chose to do it. There's a couple places you probably can fit it in, maybe over on here on yours, uh, but that was the best spot for us. We're just gonna clean the wires up, make sure they're all out of the way, and naturally we have to reuse our putty around the hole here to make sure that no moisture can get into that wire assembly. If you test your unit and you find that you don't get the results that you're looking for, uh, i.e. it's working, um, there is actually excellent support from Soft Start. Uh, if you go online, you can either start a chat online, and I think that runs pretty much seven days a week, uh, sort of regular business hours. So give that a shot if you don't get uh, what you need, or if you run into a problem in the middle of your installation, take some pictures and uh, they'll be able to help you out with that as well. We got our AC unit. 13,500 BTUs started on a tiny 2,000 watt generator with 1,600 watts of running power. Unfortunately, after about five minutes, that little Jenny just couldn't keep up to keep running that AC unit and it shut down. So if you have a similar sized air conditioner and you install the soft start, probably get at least a 2,100 max watt, 1,700 watt running generator to make sure that it'll keep running and keep your RV cool. Now, fortunately for us, our strategy was to get two of these smaller units because we knew that we often wanted to run more than just the AC unit, run a television, make some coffee, heat something up in the microwave. So, a little bit larger and you'll be all set. 
If you enjoyed this video, share it, smash that like button, and if you want to see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you're the first to know when a new video comes out. Until next time, stay safe and we'll see you in the RV parks and on the trails.